when Elon Musk unveiled the Model 3 nearly a year ago, he made a point of noting that the final design was still a work in progress. And with good reason, the Model 3 we saw last March has a curiously absent instrument cluster, not to mention some problems with the vehicle's trunk design. Since then, Tesla engineers and designers have been busy refining and enhancing the company's highly anticipated EV. With deliveries still slated to begin by the end of the year, there have been reports that the final design is either set in stone or close to being so. In fact, Tesla during its recent letter to shareholders said that it began building Model 3 prototypes just last month. Of course, with Tesla being a company that prizes secrecy as much as Apple does, it's been quite some time since we've seen what the current incarnation of the Model 3 looks like. Not to worry, some eagle-eyed Redditors recently spotted a Model 3 prototype out on the wild and posted a few photos for our viewing pleasure. The photo below, for example, features the Model 3 chilling close to Tesla's design studio. It doesn't look vastly different from what we've seen before, but it's not too often that we see a Model 3 out in the wild. As a point of reference, the Model 3 is said to be about 20% smaller than the Model S. Additionally, we also came across an Instagram post which showcases the Model 3 in action. It's not anything groundbreaking, but with all of the hype and anticipation surrounding the vehicle, even the tiniest bit of news is worth checking out. Tesla of course has a long history of product delays, so it will be interesting to see if the Model 3 actually ships on time. For what it's worth, Musk has intimated that the Model 3 requires a simpler manufacturing process which should help alleviate the type of quality control problems that plagued the Model X. As a final note, one looming and still unanswered question regarding the Model 3 centers on what the dashboard will ultimately look like. As evidence, the interior of the Model 3 prototype Tesla originally introduced looked like this. For what it's worth, Musk has indicated that the company may have some interesting plans in store to address the above design. For the 2017 Geneva Auto Show, Chevrolet has trotted out a big, green, track-ready Camaro that isn't called a 1LE. It's called the Camaro Track Concept. It also has a different graphics package consisting of unique black stripes on the hood and roof. They're paired with a custom satin green paint job. These are just cosmetic differences, though. Mechanically, this Camaro truck is basically a US spec Camaro SS1 LE, which we've confirmed with Chevrolet is currently a vehicle exclusive to the US. It has the FE4 suspension package from that car, as well as the Z01, which includes magnetic shocks, and revised springs and sway bars. It also gets the SS1 LE's electronically controlled limited slip differential, Brembo 6 piston front brakes, and extra coolers for the engine, transmission, and differential. Even the tires are the same. At all four corners are Goodyear Eagle F1 supercar tires in the same widths as the 1LE. The only major difference is that this track concept has an 8-speed automatic transmission. In the States, all three levels of 1LE are exclusively manual. Inside, it features suede on the steering wheel and center console, comes with Recaro seats, and the pedals are aluminum. Outside it has a front splitter, side skirts, rear diffuser, and rear spoiler that also appear to be cribbed from the 1LE. Chevy also added black bow ties and smoke taillights that are available as Camaro accessories. According to Chevrolet, a number of the accessories on this car are US exclusive, but some of them will be available in Europe in the near future. The modern auto industry is a never-ending deluge of boring crossovers and family-hauling SUVs. As such, I've come to appreciate the cars that wear their insanity on their sleeves. The Civic Type R does that. It's a mess of vents and scoops and streaks and wings and bumps and edges. It has three center-mounted exhausts, 
for crying out loud. No, it's not as tasteful and under the radar as its predecessors were. You didn't have a clue what those Type RS were unless you knew where to look. But you know what? Car design has gotten more boring over the years. The Japanese auto industry isn't cranking out go-winged K cars and triple rotor super luxury coupes these days. Do you really want your $30,000? 306 horsepower track ready JDM super hatch to look conservative? I'm good with the craziness. Enjoy these photos, you may feel the same when you're done. Fast Honda fans should be pretty excited if not terribly surprised at this. The production 2017 Honda Civic Type Arts pictured here in Eurospec and is coming to the US in late spring. It'll be the first time we've ever gotten a Type R badged Honda, if you don't count the Acura branded Integra Type R, which is a special thing in its own right. Things get better from there. Under that an ACA duct on the hood is a 2.0 liter, DOHC, direct injected, turbocharged, IVTEC in line 4 that makes 306 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque. Random thought, if this car was released in the 1980s, every one of those engine features would be emblazoned in decal form on the rockers. The script would have to be tiny. Since that engine packs a turbo, the torque band is relatively low and flat, peak torque is available from 2500 to 4500 RPMs. While this setup is new to Americans, it's fairly similar to the last general spec Civic Type R. Based on the gauges seen in the pictures, Redline appears to be 7000 RPMs, so unlike the picky naturally aspirated Type RS of your you won't have to wind it up into the stratosphere to make power. That's probably a good thing for around town driving, and in every other situation it'll depend on your perspective and preferences. There's one very important thing to mention that the Civic Type R won't have, an automatic. This sucker's manual only, and that unit is a six-speed job. Honda is including rev matching for when you don't want a blip for yourself, but the shifting will be a do-it-yourself operation. As far as handling is concerned, the Civic Type R combines a dual-access strut setup from the last Type R, which reduces torque steer and improves handling, adaptive struts, and a tweaked electric power steering rack with variable assist. It wears 20-inch wheels shod with 20-inch Continental Conti Sport Contact 6 tires, and stops using Brembo 4-pot front rotors, 13.8-inch cross-drilled front rotors, and 12-inch rear rotors. Torsion rigidity is up, and weight is down slightly compared to a base 2017 Honda Civic Hatchback, 15 pounds which isn't shabby considering the turbo and plumbing add a not insignificant amount of weight. Current sporty vehicle tastes require selectable driving modes, so the Civic adopts them. There's Comfort, Sport, which is the default setting, in Plus R, which affects steering response, throttle mapping, rev matching settings, suspension settings, and stability control intervention. The only available trim is Touring, so the Civic Type R comes standard with a 7-inch touchscreen, nav, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and a 540-watt sound system. The sport seats are standard, as is the leather-wrapped steering wheel, the leather shift boot, the aluminum shift knob and pedal set, and all the red accents you could possibly want in your most JDM dreams. While the new Civic Type R will be sold in the US, It'll be built in Honda's Swindon plant in the UK and imported. That'll be familiar to real Honda geeks as the source of the old EP3 generation Civic C hatchback of the early 2000s. Honda won't get too specific about pricing at this point, but expect an MSRP in the mid-$30,000 range. The Civic Type R will make its American debut at the New York Auto Show in April, which is probably very close to when it'll be available at dealers. We expect to see the car's American exterior, expect very minor changes, and finalized pricing and equipment. The long wait is over, Honda has finally taken the wraps off the new 2017 Civic Type R. 
long anticipated by hot hash fans and notable 